Let's simply compare the records. In one year, Joe Biden's socialist spending binge sparked the worst inflation in 40 years and soon to be probably 92 years from what they're predicting. The grocery stores are running out of food. The Congressional Budget Office slashed its long-term growth forecast way, way back. 30 percent, and it's going to be much higher than that. More Americans died of COVID on Biden's watch than in all of 2020. At least 16 Democrat-run cities saw record high numbers of murders and drug abuse and every other form of crime. Suburbs are seeing surging carjackings and smash and grab. We never heard of that term before. They just run into department stores and smash the hell out of it and grab it. And they just get out for nothing. There's no recrimination. Biden has abolished the southern border, canceled the Keystone XL pipeline, re-entered the unfair and very expensive, unfairly very expensive, horrible Paris Climate Accord ripoff. It's a ripoff of our country. Caused gas prices to skyrocket by more than 100 percent in a year, and then begged OPEC for mercy. Please, please send us more energy. He's emboldened Iran, betrayed Israel, and presided over the catastrophe in Afghanistan. By contrast, and that's just a few. I didn't want to bore you with going on. I could go on for 10 more minutes. By contrast, we had perhaps the most successful four years of any president in American history. Before the pandemic, we built the greatest economy in the history of the world. We created over 7 million new jobs and achieved the lowest unemployment rates for African Americans, Hispanic Americans, and Asian Americans ever recorded, and you could add women, you could add high school diplomas, non-high school diplomas, diplomas from MIT, Harvard, Yale, the Wharton School of Finance. You could add them all. Everybody was doing better than ever before. We lifted 7 million people off food stamps and 10 million people off welfare. We accomplished the largest poverty reduction in more than 50 years in the United States and the lowest African-American and Hispanic-American poverty rates also in recorded history. After the pandemic hit and that horrible, horrible plague came in from China, we saved the U.S. economy and launched the fastest recovery on record. It's never seen anything like it. We handed over something that was incredible. We withdrew from the Trans-Pacific Partnership replace NAFTA with the U.S. MCA, with Texas being one of the biggest beneficiaries. It's such a good deal that Mexico and Canada, you saw that Mexico and Canada want to get out of it. They'd like to get out of it, no thanks. Because for years, 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 they ripped us off with NAFTA. Now we have the U.S. MCA. And stood up to China like never before. We, we stood up to China, charging them hundreds of billions of dollars in taxes and in tariffs. That's never happened before to China. And they want to now ease it up on China. Can you believe it? We unleashed American energy, and with the help of the proud Texas energy workers, we achieved American energy independence for the first time. We ended catch and release, built almost 500 miles of border wall, and would have had it all complete in three weeks, except they decided to stop building and reached, uh, you take a look, reached numbers like you've never seen before on illegal border crossings. They were down by 91 percent and would have gone even lower than that. We would have had it almost completely stopped. People can come into our country, but they have to love our country and they have to come in legally. It's very simple.